Jack Warner is no stranger to high places. As a FIFA vice president, he dines with world leaders from President Obama down, kings and queens and sheiks. And in government, he's already been in the top seat, acting as prime minister. But it's his willingness to stay on the ground that's been a secret to success, lunching at the popular Pancho's Eatery on Queen Street in Port of Spain without a fanfare. The day I leave the gun is the day I leave politics. Because I must be on the gun to bond with the people, to understand their problems, how they feel, first-hand, not second-hand, first-hand, talk to them, interface with them. It's the only way I could know how they, how they feel. With the elections now over, he says he's focused on several issues within his ministry, including opening up a lane on the highways for free flow of buses during rush hour traffic. I'm not talking to my technical people, having a dedicated bus lane on the highway from 6 to 9. I'm going to cabinet with that to bring it out early on, um, early on, 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 on mornings, 6 to 9, and in the afternoon, 3 to 6. And therefore the bus will go direct to Power Spain from Shogunas, from Fire Rivers, from, from La Oqueta and so on. The minister says a decision has also been reached on the sale of one of the country's water taxis, the Sioux, which is costing $65 million in repairs. Tomorrow morning, cabinet is meeting, and I'm taking the cabinet, the final decision to sell that particular boat, the Sioux, SU. I heard this call after the first initials of Mr. Imbo's wife. So that's good. I'm sorry I have to sell it. And if you if you want to buy it for her or, or, or anyway, it's okay. But it has to be sold as is where is. He says four new water taxis that are coming will cost the state forty five million US dollars and that the sale of the Sioux would help in offsetting the cost. He says the ministry is also seeking to have the water taxis used on weekends for recreational purposes. The minister says a technical team met yesterday to develop a flood plan for the country. My legacy in the ministry is to make flooding and traffic things of the past. He would leave the eatery accompanied by one friend, greeting passers-by on his way back to his office.